Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to go over my absolute favorite East West bags. These are the bags that I feel like if you're looking for the shape, these are the ones that you need to look at. I feel like this is a very big trend that we're seeing. Like every single fashion house is doing this shape. So I felt like I want to tell you which ones are my favorite. Also, you guys know that I've been doing this series on my channel where I'm basically just focusing on bag shapes. So I did a whole video focused on bucket bags, which I'll link right up here. I did another video focused on crescent shaped bags, which I will also link up here. So I'm really trying to hone in on specific shapes because I know that obviously not every single shape works for everybody and certain things appeal to certain people so if you are like me and really like some of these east west bags then please just keep on watching but wait you already know what i'm gonna say if you're not already subscribed just find yourself i post on wednesdays and on sundays at 9 a.m pacific standard time 12 p.m eastern center time and i feel like you're gonna want to be here when i do if you like luxury you like handbags you like fashion you like east west bags i feel like this is definitely where you're gonna want to be so you should subscribe if you're not already and you should follow me over on instagram if you're not already it's just the k danger i post every single day over there every day is a real outfit of the day something on stories it's a lot Okay, I post a lot over there, so you should follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. I'm gonna save my two favorite because I do have two favorites till the end. You guys probably already know what they are if you've been here any length of time because I've spoken about both of them on previous videos. But let's get started with the first one, which is the Dior Bobby bag. I'm gonna move over so you can see the bobby bag now in general i do really like the dior bobby bag i will say it's not really my style although i feel like i've been craving a cross body like casual type bag so because of that i've been really looking at the bobby and i feel like the east west version of the bobby is just so freaking cool like i don't know what it is about the shape of this bag but it is just it works so perfectly in that east west version and i'm definitely one of the people who's kind of like don't change the original okay if it ain't broke don't fix it but i actually think that they did a really good job with this bobby because it doesn't look like oblong it doesn't look like out of shape like some of the east west bags that i'm not going to talk about in today's video do this one is executed so well because it is like a very casual style it adds just a little bit of like interest by having it just a little bit longer and it's not too long because that's another fault that i feel like some of these bags have like they are so long that it's like like the Jacques Mousse. Um, I don't know the name of the bag, but I'm going to put the picture here. This bag is just hella long. Okay, that bag is too long. It looks strange. But this Bobby bag is just gorgeous. I especially love the Bobby and like any type of brown, taupe, beige kind of color which those are definitely not my colors but i feel like they just look so good on this bag so if you're on the market for a bobby you're on the market for like a nice casual crossbody bag but you want something just a little bit special i would definitely say just look at this way another dior bag and it does give very similar vibes but it's also different so this is the dior 30 montane bag this bag i just love i love it no matter what i don't care what the if it's the box version if it's just the regular version if it's the east west version like i just i really love this bag the east west style of this is just cool as hell okay because this is a little bit more boxy than the bobby bag the bobby bag is obviously a little bit more rounded this one is just more of like a box i feel like it looks so freaking cool it also has a chain on it so that makes it just a little bit more elegant i also absolutely love the logo on the front of the 30 montane which obviously is the same logo on the bobby but it's a little bit bigger on the 30 montane so obviously depending on whether or not you want a bigger logo smaller logo i think that the logo looks really good on the 30 montane so i think this is this is definitely a good one i feel like people don't talk about the 30 montane enough and i'm gonna need that to change because it's gorgeous okay so my hermes pick is going to be the kelly cut obviously i mean this one is very long i will say that it's probably the longest one on this list it is just like endless it's like one of those italian like heroes that just go on and on and on that's literally what this is but i don't know why i love it it's definitely a statement piece and i think if you want something for like nighttime specifically this is not a bag that i would say like go to the mall with because it's not practical it's like it's kind of clunky, but if you want like a statement piece for like date night or like, you know, black tie events, I feel like this is definitely the way to go. This is for sure the one from this list that I think dresses up the best and the easiest, I guess. And I just absolutely love it. Definitely if you want something low key, if you want something like casual, this is, this is not the one. This is not even close to the one, okay? Just ignore that I even mentioned this and just keep watching. <laughs> so for my Gucci pick, 
obviously I had to pick the Gucci horse bit clutch. This is a re-edition. This came out, I think, in the Tom Ford era, and now it's been re-released. And I did try this on in a recent shopping vlog. I'll link it right up here. But I think that this is a really cute bag in the small size. I like it better in the leather personally, because I like leather better than canvas in general. But I also think that the canvas is a really cool option because it matches so much. And the Gucci canvas, like the Gucci monogram, is very iconic. And then you have the web on it as well. So I do like both versions of it but obviously the canvas is going to cost you less than the leather so depending on what you're looking for i just think this is so cool this is another one that i feel like is such a statement piece probably not as much as the kelly cut because the kelly cut is like this long but i do feel like this one is really like attention grabbing like you walk in with this people are going to notice that you're wearing this i think tamara recently posted something wearing this and it looked so good and i'm not a gucci fan you guys know i'm not like Gucci's not my favorite house for sure, but this bag is nice. I like this bag. I just feel like it's so different from some of the other picks on the list. And plus, most of the bags that we're going to talk about were like reissued into East West style bags, like the Bobby, the 30 Montaigne, some of the other bags we're going to talk about. But this one is just its own thing. Like it is an East West bag. There's no version of it that's not East West. So I think that that kind of makes a statement. Like it's like, oh, we went there. I forgot I actually have another Hermes bag. <laughs> so I'm just going to sneak it in right here. And this is the Constance Elan. Now, I actually think that this is coming back. Correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys know anything, let me know in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that the Constance Elan is coming back. Or is it Elan? 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 Don't know say. It was discontinued for like a good chunk of time there. And I don't know why. I don't know why they would discontinue this. I think that it's so cool. I mean, obviously, it kind of goes with the trends now. So that's why it would be re-released now. Like, the East West bag was not a thing until, like, maybe 2021 or so. Well, not a popular thing. Not that it wasn't a thing. It was just not as popular as it is right now. So I guess Hermes saw that and was just like, Oh, no, wait. We're going to do East West. Let's do East West. So I guess that that's why they released the Constance Elan again, or Elan. <laughs> again but either way i think that this is such a beautiful bag this reminds me a lot of the 30 montaigne except that the strap is not a chain it is just 100 percent leather and obviously it's hermes which means it's going to be a lot more expensive than the 30 montaigne so obviously depending on what you like i know some people are really like they like the brands that they like like myself so they're going to want to go for the hermes version or some people are just kind of like ah, i'll take a look for less so then you'd want to go for like 30 montaigne i think i've decided if i was going to get a constant it would have to be in the 18 size because i was really into the 24 but then when i tried on the celine triumph in like the regular classic size i felt like it was too bulky which leads me to believe that the 24 would be too big in a constant this is such a tangent you guys don't give a shit about this the constant alan or alan is just really it's cool because it's obviously a constant it's obviously an Hermes bag which makes it a classic like it's never gonna go out of style because it's Hermes even if this east-west situation goes away and nobody's into it anymore in the next couple years it's an Hermes bag like you're good don't worry about it you're good but anyway, <laughs> since we were talking about the Celine Triumph let's talk about the Celine Triumph shoulder bag this in my opinion is a very good alternative to the regular Triumph I feel like the Triumph and the crossbody style is obviously like this is the one that everyone's obsessed with. But if you like that Triumph logo, you like the way that Triumph looks, you like that shiny leather, but you don't really like crossbody bags or you want something a little different, not what everybody has, look at this shoulder bag, okay? It has the exact same logo that all the Celine Triumph bags have, but obviously it's a little bit more elongated and it's obviously a shoulder bag. And the strap is adjustable, which makes it like very, very useful, very user-friendly. I feel like a lot of the bags I'm gonna talk about today don't have an adjustable strap so it's good that this one does the bobby also does and it's just a little bit different so you know that you have like a piece of what's trendy right now but it's not the exact same bag that every single person has walking down the street not that every single person has a triumph but a lot of people have triumphs so i feel like this is definitely a special piece also the fact that it's a shoulder bag sets it apart from some of these other ones most of the east west bags that we've spoken about are crossbody bags i think that the constance alan is also a shoulder bag but this is like very intentionally a shoulder bag and because of that this also gives very like y2k vibes very similar to the gucci horse bit bag so i think this is definitely a good contender again if you like that celine triumph logo and you're not worried about it possibly dating in the future even if it does date in the future if you love it like buy it <laughs> It doesn't really matter if it dates or not. If this Triumph line, this leather really speaks to you, 
go get you one another very casual bag let's talk about the pochette matisse this is from louis vuitton obviously you guys all know what the pochette matisse is but this is the east west version i feel like this is actually one of the most popular east west bags that are going to be featured on this list like this one i see like crazy there are people who have the regular pochette matisse who also still want to get the east west version and i could definitely understand why in my opinion if you're going to get a pochette matisse this is the pochette matisse to get this one or like the really teeny tiny one that one is super cute but it's so expensive it is just again an elevated version of a very simple crossbody bag similar to the bobby bag that we were talking about earlier i feel like this just gives like such cool girl vibes instead of having like a very casual just like regular louis vuitton piece that everybody has now you have the east west version which just gives it like a level of edge that some of these other bags don't have and i just think it's so cool and the fact that it comes with a little chain just makes it even more versatile because you can use that chain as like a shoulder bag type chain kind of similar to how i do with my prada re-edition or you can obviously use the crossbody strap that it comes with another thing is that the crossbody strap is adjustable so the options are really there for you and i just think that this bag is absolutely stunning they do come out with it in like so many different variations louis vuitton is just such a classic house like you can never go wrong with the louis vuitton piece even if they discontinued the bag in you know five ten years it's just a louis vuitton bag like it's not gonna go out of style so i feel like this is a good one and one of the less expensive ones on today's list so so after i filmed this video i actually came across another east west bag that i thought is just it's the coolest. There's just no way that I was not going to mention this bag. So this is by Bottega Veneta. This is called the Stretch Box Knot. This is a clutch, very similar to the Kelly Cut, except this obviously doesn't have a little baby top handle. Actually, this kind of reminds me more of the Petite Mal in that East West style because it is definitely something that you can use during the nighttime. I don't know how well this would transition to daytime but definitely as like a night like statement piece this is the one it's just so cool i think the regular version of this bag is cool but the east west style just gives it so much character and makes it ju it just takes it up like several notches and i love it there is another style by bottega veneta that is called the intrachiato clutch that is also long and i think that they're coming out with it in like a metallic version but i think that one's cool and it does remind me a lot of the kelly cut that other version but i think that this stretch box knot is even cooler because this is just so intentionally a clutch it's so dressy and then having it in that east west style just gives it a little bit of flavor and i think it's really cool so there was just no way i was gonna put this video up without talking about it okay so we're down to the last two and these two are both my favorites i mean actually i guess i do technically have a favorite of the two so this is my almost favorite, and this is the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal. I love the way that this bag looks in the East-West style. This is the first East-West style bag that I actually thought looked good because some of them, like I said, some of them look crazy. But to me, because this is already a box-shaped bag, just elongating it just makes it so freaking cool. And not only that, this is another one that can dress up so easily from day to night. So I feel like if you take the strap off this and you want to wear this at night, that is going to look so cool. Like, I don't even know. It's like Kelly Cut vibes, but even better. And I just think it's so, I think it's so beautiful. Definitely pricey. Okay, it's definitely expensive. The Petit Mal on its own is already expensive, but now that we're, you know, giving it some more square footage, it's like, <laughs> but honestly, it's such a freaking cool piece that like, I think it's worth it. I 100% think it's worth it because is that hard sided like trunk type material that is just, it's just such an elevated classic and I freaking adore it. I just think that this is so freaking stunning and such a statement piece while still being louis vuitton it's still classic it's still something that's not gonna date so i just think i i'm obsessed i i don't know if you can tell the excitement is the excitement is coming through you but i think that this is just gorgeous <laughs> And my last pick is my favorite pick, and I'm sure you guys already know what this is, but this is the Lady D-Joy from Dior. I am obsessed with this bag. I want it so bad. I really loved the version that just came out with like the pearls on it. Now, originally, I have to say I did not like it. I really didn't like it at first because you guys know I love the Lady Dior. The original way that the Lady Dior is set up, I think is stunning. It's stunning, but once i saw people like really wearing this bag i understood that it's just like the lady dior but with more edge and has like a little bit more fire to it i feel like if you have cool girl aesthetic 
this is another one that is just gonna be so effortlessly cool with what you're wearing and i just love it i absolutely love it i just feel like i'm holding off until i find the perfect one and plus like i said i've been, been like crazy so we can't we can't do that right now i feel like i wish the shoulder chain was just like different i don't know there's something about the shoulder chain that i don't absolutely love but the fact that you have the shoulder chain you don't have a shoulder chain with a lady dior the fact that you have the crossbody option as well and it is adjustable i love it i do really love it and i don't think this is like a classic piece because i know a lot of people say like well the lady dior is classic but the lady dior is probably not gonna be classic i don't think that it is classic but I think it's cool as shit. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so guys, those were my 10 favorite East West bags. I feel like I've been talking for three hours. I need to go like chug a bottle of water. I am like so thirsty. Let me know. What do you guys think about my picks? Which one is your favorite? I already told you which ones are my favorite. Do you guys have any of these bags? Are they your favorite? Let me know how they wear. How do you like them? How do you style them? Let me know. Whatever you want to let me know do it in the comments <laughs> but that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to follow me on instagram i post every single day over there and that's all i have to say so i'll see you guys in my next video bye i hope this mic works because i'm so freaking excited about it